Hello everyone, welcome back to lesson number three. Today we're going to create a Cyber PI authentication system with program access control. This code creates a simple login window using the TK inter module in Python. It prompts the user to create a username and password and then provides an interface for them to enter their credentials to log in. When the user clicks on the calculator button, the program check whether the entered username and password match the previously entered ones. If they do, it opens the window, uh, window calculator application. If the entered credentials are incorrect, it displays an error message and blinks the LED on the Cyber PI board in the red color. Now, what kind of project student can do with this code? So um, this code provides a basic framework for creating a login screen and authorization system using Cyber PI. Students can build upon this code to create more complex projects, such as uh, number one, creating a SQL messaging app. Students can use this code to create a login screen for messaging app that only allows authorized users to send and receive messages. Second option, developing an attendance tracker. Students can modify this code to create a system that allows students to log in and log out of class using their Cyber PI. Third option, building a game with authorization. Students can create a game that only allows players who have logged in using their Cyber PI to play. Fourth option, creating a SQL file sharing system. Students can use this code to create file sharing system that only allows authorized users to access and share files. Overall, this code can serve as a starting point for many different types of projects that require SQL login and authorization system. Okay, let's jump into the code. Now, first we're going to install all the modules. Import Cyber PI, import TK into STK, import time, import OS. Well, if you don't have issue, if you have an issue, uh, just make sure you install uh, the, this module, TK into. Okay. So um, you can use uh, CMD line or command prompt or in here Python like pip install uh, the module name. Next, I'm going to show you. Now set up the Cyber PI. So what does this code do is, this code initializes and prepares the Cyber PI board by tuning off the LED lights and clearing the display. It doesn't perform any specifications like specific action, but it's useful to run this code at the beginning of a program to make sure that the Cyber PI is in a known state before starting to execute the main logic. Okay, next is a create function to blink lights. Now, this code defines a function called blink lights that turns on the Cyber PI LED to a specific color, waits for a specific duration, turns the LED off, and waits for the same duration again. The function can be used to create a blinking effect with the LED different colors uh, durations. Okay, the next one is create a username. So this code this code creates a username by prompting the user to enter their desired username twice. If the two entries match, the username is stored in the variable username and the lights on the cyber PI blink green. If the entire does not match, the cyber PI lights blink red and the user is prompted to try again. This process continues until a matching username is entered. Okay, next one is the create a password. And after that, 
this code creates the password by repeatedly asking the user to input a password and then confirming it. It compares the two inputs and if they match, it prints success and blinks the LED light in green. If they don't match, it prints passwords don't match. And after that, try again and blinks LED light in red. So once we do all the testing, we can, we can see that. Okay, next is define the functions to handle button clicks. So this function handles button clicks in a user interface for a login system. It gets the inputted username and password from the entire widgets and compares them to the predefined username and password. If the inputs match, the functions print success to the console, blinks the green LED and opens the window calculator program using the OS system. Uh, OS system function. So if the inputs do not match, the function prints incorrect username or password uh, incorrect and say try again to the console and blinks the uh, red LED. Okay, next is uh, create the window. This code creates the GUI window using the Ting, uh, Tiki Inter library in Python with the title calculator and a green background. And after that, create a calculator button. So this code creates a button label calculator with the width of 20 characters and height of 5 characters and associate with the button click function that will be called when the button is clicked. The grid method is used to place the button in the first row and first column of the window with a 5 pixel padding, uh, padding both horizontally and vertically. Okay, last two uh, code words uh, is, so this block of codes creates a window using the Tiki Intel library in Python. It sets the title of the window to uh, window calculator and configure the background color to green. If it creates a button label calculator with a width of 20 and a height of 5, when the button is button is clicked, it execute the function button click. The next block creates uh, block codes creates two label and two entry widgets for the username and password. The label are username and password, and the entry widgets are used for the user to input their username and password. The password is hidden by displaying asterisk instead of the actual characters. These label and entry widgets are placed on the window using the grid method, which is specify the row and column position of the each element as they will any pa padding around them. And the last one is start the GUI. So this line of the code start the main event loop of the GUI, which listen for events such as mouse clicks or button presses and updates the interface accordingly. It allows the user to interact with the interface and perform actions such as entering their username and password and clicking the calculator button. The GUI will continue to run until the user closes the window. Okay, now we are done with the code. I mean, if you follow from the beginning, I step by step I explain. So I think you can enter and uh, you have a good idea now i already connect the cyber pi you can see let me try to uh, transition and show you so we have the cyber pi connected and i'm going to run the code now okay so you can see in the display, let me transition. Okay, now create a username, type a username. So you can in the cyber PI, right? So in here, you can see uh, you got a box in here. 
because my display I put to black so probably you can't see it properly that's my preferences uh, let me see if I can change my display so can't remember where I changed my display color anyways hope you can see it and I'm going to put a name so I'm going to put David uh, I'm going to say David 01 that's my username so I'm going to enter okay so what uh, telling me that create a username type a username a username again okay so sub API telling me type the username again so I want to type the the same username twice to confirm I'm going to be David uh, well, you know, um, let me create a wrong name. Maybe I'm going to say David Zero. So I'm, I purposely type a wrong one and see what it does. So I, we can see it got red. The light was blink. And it says don't match username don't match try again create a username type the username so it's telling us to create the username again so now I'm going to I'm going to show you again the wrong uh, I'm going to pay David 01 and I'm going to type again David 0 now when I type it will show you red light see now the username you need to be match two times you need to be uh, username should be match so now I'm going to create I'm going to create a maybe I'm going to create David uh, with the capital D 01 the this is case sensitive so I need to type the same name username David 01 okay we see a green light now now it was successful username is successful now we need to type a password now we're going to use a type of password we're going to type a password one two three four for the testing purposes I'm going to type this okay okay so you can see type the password again so I'm going to type the password again uh, I'm going to type the password one two three four. So I, I enter the correct password and I'm going to hit enter. You can see it blink green. Let me see the password this success. Okay. So if you didn't see, I got a, a file open in here. You can see so i'm going to click that so once we password success it it pop up okay so now uh we are in the the next process now when i click calculator now you can see username password here and when i click calculate look at the cyber pi it's a red let me focus on that incorrect username password because we didn't put the username password on that box I'm going to click again red so you can see username password we create a username password and now we need to enter that without that the cyber file not let me open that application now we put David even I can't remember David 01 and we put the password 1234 so that's the password we put now we enter the username password now I'm going to hit the calculator yes the calculator is open I'm going to close again and I'm going to change back here and I'm going to open the calculator you can see success and you got green it's open I'm going to show you again click success so you can see the uh, 
the Cyber PI, each time when we open, it will show you success. Right? So what happened if I put the wrong username and try to calculate open? Now failure. Now let's see. Yes, you can see uh, incorrect password because it it will show you incorrect username and password. So now we have a record in Cyber PI that we need to enter username password which we uh, create from the uh, from the Visual Studio to enter to open the calculator. So beginning, I told I gave you uh, so like so like project ideas what students can do to uh, the the design uh, the, you can design different different uh, uh, programs from this from this code so i uh, i wish you good of uh, best of luck to create your own project and make uh, successful if you have anything uh, about uh, any help any comments please uh, comment this video down and uh, i'll uh, do my best to answer thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on my next video